Hello, peeps this week. Yes, I'm already in my pajamas. I am relaxing for the evening. So yes, uh, this is kind of just like a little update video. I found out some interesting information that I will tell in a minute. Um, I wanted to do this video with the backside of my camera on my phone and um, it just would not focus. So like I made two videos that neither one seemed to focus, so that really sucked. This is the third video, so hopefully um, it doesn't sound all rambly and crap. And it's not even, it's not as fun as the first video, because the first video is like kind of more yeah, spontaneous and all that crap. So anyways, so the cool information I found out, hold on. I know, nicotine gets in the way of everything, doesn't it? <laughs> fucking with you. Okay, so found out um, something interesting about my great-grandfather. First of all, okay, I'm going to be talking about pectus excavatum, which is the indention in the chest. It's a deformity in the chest that you're born with. Okay, so anyways, uh, it's usually genetic. That's what I was told by my heart doctor when I was a teenager. And uh, he had asked me, do you know anybody who, uh, in your family who has it? And I was like, no, you know, neither one of my grandparents do and neither of my parents do. So, uh, no, I don't, you know? And, uh, so I just happened to be mentioning it to my grandpa cause we were sitting at the table and we were talking about exercising and that kind of thing. And I happened to mention, I can't, you know, I can't. I wanted to start jogging soon, well, walking and then work up to jogging, you know? And um, and I told him, like, yeah, I'll never be able to be like a runner, you know, run no marathons or anything. I'm like, because, you know, I can't run for very long because my lung capacity uh, isn't as large as it should be because of my, you know, pectus excavatum. And, um, and when I explained, you know, because I'm, I'm always saying it by the medical term, you know, ever since I found out the medical term, I call it the medical term, you know, and uh, so I explained it to him, you know, and he's like, he's like, you know what? He goes, because I said something about, you know, my doctor said it was genetic, but I didn't know anybody in the family who had it. And then all of a sudden it was like a light bulb went off in his head and he goes, you know what? Your grandfather, your, your, your great grandfather, you know, uh, had it. And I was like, really? And he goes, yeah. He's like, uh, he's like, I don't know if it was the same as yours. He's like, you know, his was to one side, it was to his left side, which I think this is mirrored, but I'm not entirely sure. But if you're standing, you know, it's to your left is where his was. And um, and he's like, you know, and they thought his, you know, when he went into the army um, for World War One. My great grandfather was told when he had the um, what do you call it physical, yes, physical. When he had the physical done, they told him that he had a pectus excavatum, and you know he didn't know. I don't think the medical term for it at the time. I didn't until I was much older too. Um, but you know he had noticed. Obviously, his family had noticed. Um, but his was like on this side, of course. But uh. They had noticed the indention, but, uh, you know, he was told that by the doctor that they thought it was caused by, um, his twin resting his head there in the womb of his brother. And, uh, what it is is my, my great-grandfather had a twin and, you know, so they thought they must have rested on each other in the womb and it caused the indentation, which I guess that could that could be because it you know deformities have happened because of stuff like that um, similar things but with something like that that's more genetic and I mean it probably would have happened regardless of whether he was a twin or not um, so yeah so that's what I told my grandpa and he's like well that's what they figured you know um, at the time they didn't know any better I was like well yeah that's World War one era you know um, medical knowledge, so yeah, I mean, they didn't know as much back then. Um, 
But I mean, it's just still so cool to know I have this link with my great grandfather that that's where I get that genetic marker to have that. So marker, genetic, I don't know if it's called a marker or what. I could be right, I don't know. Sometimes words just spew out of my mouth and they're not always correct. And you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think. <laughs> I'm always saying, you know what I'm saying. And I, nobody ever comments. I don't know if they know what I'm saying or if they just kind of shake their head and go on. I have no idea. So comment if you don't know what I'm saying. Always comment about that. Um, but yeah. So it was just interesting to find that out and I wanted to share that with you guys. I wish I was still in contact with the doctor I had when I was a teenager. Um, the only reason why I stopped going to that heart doctor was because I turned 19 and he wouldn't see me anymore. It wasn't because he didn't want to, but his practice wouldn't allow him to because he was a pediatric heart doctor. So, And he was an awesome heart doctor. I, I loved him for a doctor because he explained... Um, well, the first reason why I went is because um, my primary care physician thought I had something, you know, some issue with my heart when he was listening to, um, you know, my heart with a stethoscope. He heard something that made him think something might be up, so I was sent to this doctor, and that doctor did a, uh, what do you call it? It's an ultrasound on the chest. Uh, echocardiogram? Or, see, I can't remember all the names for them because I haven't had it in a while, so I don't know. Anyway, so it was one of those where they do the ultrasound on the chest. And uh, that's when we found out I had mitral valve prolapse. But that's also when he noticed, when he was doing it, he noticed, he's like, you have a pectus excavatum. And I'm like, huh? And he's like, you have the indention in your chest. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, pectus excavatum is what it's called in the medical term. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, the doctor was awesome, though, about explaining everything. I just wish I could still see him. Oh, such a bummer. But anyways, oh, one more piece of thing I wanted to say. Finally have hot water. As of yesterday evening. Um, we didn't have hot water for three days. <laughs> and it was hell. I have a new appreciation for hot water because having to boil everything um, for hot water, like, you know, boiling big pots of water for the tub and stuff, that is not cool. That, and I haven't taken a bath in I don't know how many years. I never even soaked in a bath, honestly. Too many people in the bathroom for me to really tie up the bathroom very much, so I've never really gotten to ever soak in the tub, just to relax, you know, so it was weird. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, uh, we finally have hot water, and I'm so excited, and I'm so much more appreciative of all that, so, yay. But this was my update, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I don't know if I said it in this video or not. If I did, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, if I am. Um, but I will probably do another video this week, it just, um, it probably won't be to the weekend. Uh, Unless I do get to go out to go shopping during the week, and then I might do one then if I remember. Um, just simply because it might be kind of fun to do a video out and about because I'll actually have more content to speak about, and you'll have a different background instead of my laundry room or the basement. Yeah, so it'd be kind of interesting. I wish I had the, my own space to really. Um, you know, like fix up a backdrop and stuff to have a nice place to film, but I don't right now. Um, someday I hopefully will, and uh, well, I know I will someday, but you know what I mean. And when I do, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna totally trick it out. And I sounded really ghetto right there, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Anyways, ghetto mouse is very ghetto. Uh, so peace.